we're going to do here is a variation of a body weight squat. Nereus is going to pop the mini band through both legs and he's only going to have it positioned around the ankles. So just above the trainers, uh, just going onto the shins here. So he's then going to create a lot of tension on the band. He's going to get his feet out to the side. We want to feel like the band is kind of pulling on you. Okay. Now, there are several positions that you can do with your hands. Probably the easiest one is just having your arms out in front of you like this. And we can progress to maybe having your hands on your shoulders, elbows up. And then the last one probably is the hands coming directly upwards towards the ceiling. So we'll go to the first one, arms out in front. And Nereus is going to start this by engaging the shoulder blades by squeezing them back together. He's going to tense up the stomach a little bit. He's going to screw his feet into the floor. So he's getting a lot of tension in the feet, gripping with the toes. The weight is evenly spread out throughout the entire feet. So we can picture three distinct points of the foot, otherwise known as the tripod foot, which is the two balls of the feet at the front here and the heel at the back. The toes are naturally engaged by sort of gripping hold of the floor as well. Now, before we actually start squatting down, he's almost going to get his knees just slightly outwards to the side without compromising that foot position. So we don't want to push out too much and then the feet just roll out to the side. We're only going to start by going to a quarter squat. So that big breath, brace tight, all of those points engaged. We're going to go down to a quarter squat position and we're going to hold it there for about a second or two. And then we're going to slowly move down by an inch or two and then hold that position. We're going to repeat this process going down as low as we can with those pauses slowly moving, but we're also maintaining perfect technique. So we're not letting the knees come in or we're not rolling the feet. We're not getting the upper body to come down. So a couple few common things that people tend to do is the arms will start to fall down or the knees will start coming inwards or they'll start shifting onto the front part of their feet and they got no weight going into the heels. So we don't want to go to the point of depth where that is happening and we use that second or two to reinforce those points. So if that happens, and if we can't then re refocus it, then we've gone too low. When we got to the bottom position, we're gonna hold it there five seconds and then slowly come up and hold it there. Same rate coming back up, that little bit of movement, pause, a little bit of movement, pause, a little bit of movement, pause, and then we can relax. With the arms up towards the ceiling, we just get a lot more focus on the upper body as well. There's a lot more demand in this position. So the main difference is gonna be, is gonna be much harder for Nereus to keep his arms in this upright position here. They're gonna start wanting to come further down forward. But he might be very, very strong, very, very mobile, but he's still probably gonna feel that it's gonna be much harder in this position. So let's try to just go for one rep. I'm not gonna completely knacker him out. This is a very hard drill to do. That's it. We're still going down as low as we can, that we can still maintain that position. One of the other common ways with the overhead position, if nearest you turn side on, and just go straight down into that low squat. We're not going to get you to go all the way down super slow again. One of the common things with that overhead is we start to get that round at the middle back here, or the arms start coming forward a lot more. And with the other position, you can, I'll get you to stand up, <laughs> with the hands on shoulders, the elbows start to move down as well. That's probably the most common thing to happen with the arms here. But this is more of the second stage, and then the third stage is overhead position. We don't want to be excessively leaning forward, so we're maintaining just that little lean forward with the upper body. Just We should be comfortable in still looking directly forward in front of us, and then that's it.